I found the quickest and easiest way to make motion blur on Scratch. So, allow me to share with you guys today how to make motion blur on Scratch in probably less than 10 minutes. So, first off, let's just start off with some basic movement. You can create your own, but I'm just going to real quickly get some basic movement going. Uh, so I'm just going to do if key right arrow is pressed, and then I'm going to do the opposite. So, yeah. And then, real quickly, now I'm going to do up and down. That way we can get some all-around movement. Up. And then down. And now I'm going to change this by Y. And now I'm going to set this to negative. Alright, so. Now that we have our basic movement going, now we will create our motion blur. So, here's what you're going to do. When flag is clicked, and then forever, because we are going to forever do this, <laughs> uh, and then create clone of myself. And what this is going to do is pretty much always create a clone of our cat, which, do this now. Uh, yeah, you kind of got a Windows error kind of thing going on. So, yes, now what you'll do is when I start as a clone, repeat, uh, I would say repeat four, and then go into your looks and do change ghost effect by 25. And then go back to your control and do delete this clone. And now what this will do is this you will now have pretty basic motion blur and now you can toggle or not toggle but you can tamper with these two different things and kind of change it up a bit if you want some really slow motion blur what you can do is one or you can do one here and then 100 here so as you can see it slowly, slowly, slowly comes back to me. So, there's a really cool effect we have going on. If you even want it to still go faster than that, just do 10 and 10. And now you have this. So, I hope this helped you guys. This is the fastest, quickest, and easiest way to do motion blur. Um, if you have any problems, just let me know. And yes. Hope this helped you out, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.